Hi guys, it is Amber and I just wanted to take a second and do a walkthrough for you guys of my brand new pocket size Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. Um, I just got this in the mail a few days ago and got it set up um, and I thought it would just be fun to take you guys along with me and show you what I'm doing in it. Um, this is by far right now, and I say this, I'm like on the first week of it, but this has by far been my favorite size so far. I love the fact that it is so portable. It's so easy to just grab and go. I don't have to take a bunch of stuff with me. Everything is right here in this little guy, and you can see it is like, look how easy that is to carry. It's like the size of my hand. Um, so I love, love, love that about it. But um, I just wanted to, yeah, just kind of show you guys uh, the actual planner. And this is from, as I said, Webster's Pages. You may not be able to tell by the color, but it is kind of between a emerald green and like a teal kind of color. It's more green than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this is it. And then if you look at the spine, that's what the spine looks like. And it's got the little gold foil WP, Webster's Pages, and then the light mint elastic on it. Um, and it's in the suede uh, kind of material. It's like the faux suede material. So yeah, and it says discover on the tag. So it's really, really cute. So um, yeah, let's just get started. I'll open it up for you and show you exactly what is in it. And you guys will have to just forgive me. I'm doing this with one hand because I don't have a tripod with me today. So um, I am holding the camera with one hand and doing this with the other. So there's the little tag, discover. And if we open it up, this is what I've got going on, and I do, I just keep my debit card right here in this slot because it's easy to grab, go to, um, first thing when I open my planner, so it's super easy. And then I've got some movie tickets <laughs> right behind it there. This I just keep pretty basic, I haven't done really anything decorative to it yet or anything like that, so, um, so yeah, my, these movie cards are here, and then behind here, I just did one of these. I got this from Walmart, uh, just one of those mail uh, wallet card holder things, and this comes with five little, I'm not going to pull this all the way out because it's my driver's license, but it comes with five little slots to put cards in, so I just keep all my cards right there in that. So, these books come from Michael's. And this is from, I believe, I want to say the, uh, all my stickers pretty much are the sweet uh, kawaii design stickers. And I believe these books, um, I'm trying to think the section they came from. I think it's the Recollections Collection. Um, it has the three books. There's one, two, and three books in one. And they have the little pocket size notebooks to go with them. Um, but I already had mine, and this fits those perfectly. So I just got the notebooks. Um, but yeah, so it comes with a grid size notebook, or sorry, a grid style notebook. Um, and then it comes with the weekly pages, and um, it also has a calendar that kind of looks like that, um, and with that as well. And then it has a blank notebook as well. So, um, but I'll go through here and show you kind of what I've got going on with it. So, in the grid notebook, I'm using this for my lists and my notes. I had tabs on this and I went to Walmart yesterday and it was pouring the rain and I got my tabs wet and so they kind of smeared all over the place so you can see I took them off but you can see like a little bit right there. I'm gonna have to fix that with some tape. Um, but I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to put tabs back on it or 
or if I just want to leave it without tabs. I always struggle with tabs because it's like I feel like they get in my way. Um, and so it bugs me, but at the same time, I feel like it makes it a lot easier to access things when I have the tabs. So right now, I'm going to try it without the tabs and see how easy it is on me. Um, and then if it gets super annoying, then I'll put tabs back on there. But I'm going to actually laminate them this time or um, get some plastic covers for my tabs instead of just using stickers for that. So anyway, so this is my list section. And so what I've got here on the first page, actually it's the first couple pages, this is going to be my home management area and this is just a daily list of what I try to do a clean, like a quick pickup on for cleaning every day. Um, so it's just a little brief list. And then this is my weekly and my monthly list. Um, so just so I can like easily access that and then I can take that list and put it in my planner as I go to plan each week and I know exactly like what I still have to get done and that kind of thing so that's what I've got going on in the list section so far I don't think I have any other lists no but this will just be a section kind of like for um, like a bullet journal um, what am I trying to say Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. Um, so yeah, what I was trying to say, this is kind of like a collections, I guess, notebook, um, similar to the bullet, bullet journal. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to put like different lists and as I come upon things that I want to, um, you know, have an area for, that will kind of be this first area in my notebook. Um, so lists, notes, that kind of thing. So moving on to notebook number two, and there it is. And I just have a little paper clip there to clip it just so I can easily access where I'm at in my calendar. And this is what my calendar looks like for the month of July. Pretty simple right now. I literally just got this this week, so it is pretty blank right now, honestly. And then if you flip over, this is the weekly layout and how that looks. And all of my stickers um, are from Sweet Kawaii Designs uh, from the Michaels Collection. I'm also signing up for her uh, monthly subscription. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to sign up for her monthly subscription um, because I just absolutely love her stickers. They are so so, so cute. Yeah, so I'm going to sign up for that, I believe. Anyway, so this is what a blank page looks like. And so that you've got the week on two pages here with a note section as well. It's actually pretty basic, and I really like that it's basic. It doesn't have any, like, color scheme or anything like that. I don't I don't really like planners that have like their own theme going with it um, just because I like to modify mine so much that it really gets in my way honestly when I've got a bunch of like theme stuff to work with so I love the fact that this is just very basic so that's that notebook and then notebook number three, this is just blank, but this is going to be for my daily pages. I just haven't used it yet. You can see I had to tear out page one because the tab that was on there that got wet as I was trying to rip it off, it really ripped the paper. So yeah, that's why that is blank. But I don't have anything in here yet, but this is going to be used for my daily pages. So and then we flip on through and then this back here is my church notes and this is I like to keep this in here because this is just sermon notes um, I'm a big note taker at church so that's what this is and I literally just covered this this is the actual notebook that comes with the planner um, I covered it with some white printer paper and then just put some washi tape on it and you can see, and then one of the stickers from the kit, and you can see what that looks like. So, oh, that's starting to come off a little bit. I might have to stick that a little bit better, which I can, I can do that. That's not a big deal. But anyway, so that is that, and there's the back of the planner, and then I don't have anything decorating this back here yet. There's nothing in these pockets. 
Um, and then right now I'm just using the Papermate um, Flare. And I don't know if I really love this pen with this. Um, I do love the way this pen writes, but it smears really bad um, on this paper. And let me see if I can find an example of where it's done that. Um, you can kind of see on the word home there, I smeared that. So, and this is just like basic, really nice quality thick paper and it's smeared on that. So I'm considering changing out pens, but for right now, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, but basically I've got all four of my elastics filled right now. And it is a good, size. I mean, plenty of room for that. Um, if I wanted to add more, I definitely have more space that I could do that with. Um, but yeah, this is just my basic go-to. Um, I can just grab it and go and it's like super easy to put in my hand and, you know, throw in my bag or whatever I need to do. Um, I love, love, love the size of this planner. Um, I got it for 10 bucks <laughs> on Blitzy and they were having a sale last week. So it was super affordable as well. Now I will say if you're big on like planner quality, as far as that's concerned, um, a couple things that are bugging me right now, you can tell this is starting to fray around the sides. I mean, it's not enough for me to like not use this planner, but you can tell kind of the fraying there. It does have that. And I mean, you can just tell that it's not like real suede. Um, I mean, it's definitely like a faux kind of feeling of material. But I love it. I mean, it's soft. It's cute. It's pretty. It was 10 bucks. And it goes everywhere with me a perfect size. So I'm not complaining about it, but um, if you're particular on the quality of your planner, then yeah, there is that little thing. I will say though, the elastic is really nice quality. It's very firm um, and it holds in place really well. So, I, you know, I don't have any problem with that. And then that's really cute as well. It, I mean, it feels like good quality, especially for 10 bucks. So. This is the, once again, the pocket size Webster's Pages Color Crush Planner Traveler's Notebook. And it does come with one notebook. Um, and then these three I got from Michaels to add on to it. And yeah, I am loving it. So just thought I would take you guys on a walkthrough. Hope that you enjoyed. Um, if you want more of these videos, uh, just let me know in the comments. And I'm going to be trying to post more um, planner related videos here in the future. Um, so just let me know what you guys like, what you guys want to see, and um, I will try my best to do that. And obviously, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below um, and give me a subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will try to keep posting for you guys. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.